is, would you like to explain with this, please, uh, Vernie, the picture? Yes, uh, that's a ball. Uh, Hello? Ball. Yes, Mr. Kesh. Hello? Is Vernie online? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, you probably can't hear me either. Can you hear me, Mr. Kesh? Yes, I can. Oh, well, Vernie, you should be able to hear Vernie in the background, too, then. No. Hello. I yes, can hear. There you. Okay. Okay, Vernie. Could you explain uh, us the structure, please? The bigger ball that you see that has a brown tint color, that's the CH3 inside. There is also an inner ball there where the motor on top is attached to. This ball is, is the, the inner ball is connected to this motor. It When the motor rotates, the ball inside the smaller ball will also rotate. The CH3 outside is what confines the inner ball. And we have aluminum foil and caustic material that uh, inside these balls, which when they reacted will produce the hydrogen. During the, during the test, it produces gas and it heats up. And at first it wobbles that, uh, but later on it, it has a stable uh, rotation, a smooth rotation. That's uh, our latest uh, uh, findings for this one. Have you done a field detection on it? The expansion of the field? Not yet, Mr. Cash. They are still observing uh, the last time we uh, we reported for this. Thank you very much. The, the process of the shielding is that you need both reactors to be in rotation, that you get the uh, contra rotation and you get the gravitational field pull. Uh, what it is, what this structure is, uh, can I share, uh, please, if you stop, Rene? What the process in this, what the process is here is as follows. You have a core which um, has a cans of um, CH3, and inside it, you will find a very thin layer of, uh, for example, aluminium. Somewhere here. And then we have a second reactor here, which again has the same proposition. It has a CH3, and with it, it has a gans of aluminium. But at the interface here, you have field of tritium and you have a field of tritium here. At the moment with this test, this tritium is in rotation um, in this direction. If I'm correct, we ask it to be uh, uh, anti-clockwise. If we get this one rotated this way, at the moment it's a stationary data core, the interaction of the field of strength between this tritium layer and this tritium layer will create lift. But the speed of the rotation has to be that these two can link to interact, and then the totality will create a field somewhere here, which will interact to the Earth gravitational magnetic field with the, what we call the neutron center of the, of the planet. 
because now you have detached from the matter content of the environment. You deal directly. In fact, if you look at it, it's double core here, and you have a double core of the Earth, all in more or less neutron level, interacting and position. Earth gravitational magnetic field of the tritium, because of its dual mass, is higher. Ours is lower, so dictates the position. These systems you have to push to a limit, produce so much of the uh, tritium or the hydrogen or the neutron that becomes some of it of the strength level of the matter state of the plasma of the neutron of the center of the planet and then you get the response. This is not the inertia, this is magnetic gravitational position. Then, you can create the condition of other materials on each position on the planet, then it dictates your position where you want to travel to. You get attracted or repelled from. Then you mix the magnetic gravitational of the plasma and of the, uh, what we call, matter state in the inertia, and then it's the inertia which dictates where you're going to be positioned in respect to the planet. This is what I explained to our team in Manila very recently. Once you make a scene, make a GANS of the matter states of, uh, let's say, an island in Philippines, you will not be able to use it in the United States. If you create the gravitational magnetic of the inertia matter state of the given position, of a destination, then you'll be attracted to it. That's how you travel, if you want to travel in that condition, or, the surface, or from one point to another on the surface of this planet. This is how birds track themselves back to where they are. And they land exactly to the right place, same branch, doesn't matter if the tree has grown 10 feet tall, or is still at the same height. And it doesn't matter what the weather is. There's a specific way of formation that they take their total strength across. And it's always constant. Because reference point is the center of the planet. Nitrogen, oh sorry, neutron is strength level. This, uh, this is, uh, those of you who, as I explained in all the teaching, achieve the plasmatic condition of the GANs of the hydrogen. And now, you use the CH3 in that condition. Now, if you understand, CH3 here in this layer is, um, let me just choose a color that I can show. Um, Gray, would it be clear? The, the GANS material of the CHT here now is not only is here in the tritium condition, now is enforced by this itself to create an tritium. I explained to the uh, innovation center, I explained to you about if you, any of you have these cores and you can play with it and it can go, you have to pass as the server speed, you know the uh, electromagnetic field of the Earth. A lot of you know. Then you can understand the speed of rotation which you need to create to create lift above or below it. A lot of you are knowledgeable in that field of strength. This, this, this is the key. Now you have, you have to mass produce. So, in one centimeter diameter, if you put, let's say, 10 gram of aluminium, for example, and 5 gram of CH3, in the other one, you can't do double, because it's by order of magnitude, it's very thin. 
So you go by order of magnitude in the size of the uh, sphere, further up. You go, for example, in the outer core, 100 gram and 50. Or that is actually, if you look at it, is 10 to the 2, here is 25, sorry. You go by order of magnitude, till you find the right mass motion, and the right speed of rotation, and your system flies. This, you don't need any other elements, you don't need to look for copper, the zinc, or whatever. But you have enough experience to, uh, to understand how to produce this. One of the easiest way, uh, because this planet is made of, uh, what we call, mainly of metallic structure, is uh, something like um, brass cans or brass uh, structure in caustic with CH3 to if you can you've got to see on the composition of the uh, of the material what is available you have maybe to add certain amount of uh, uh, oxygen absorption from the process of the caustic, then you'll find immediate lift. Literally immediate, a lot of you. This is what happened in the core, which we saw people reporting their cores gone missing. If you understood now, you concentrate on the hydrogen production, a lot of your course goes missing unless you find out how to control it. Don't forget, you have chosen the carbon, which means you can connect it with your emotion. The, the, uh, the whole process is more or less going to the extremes, but it's not the extremes for you, it's extreme to understand it. Um, we can place the system inside any bodies. Could be a craft, could be a ship, could be a car. It will find its position and its place. It's very, very simple. Now that you understand this, it's very, very simple. It's been in all the teachings, and I referred to it a few weeks ago, and some people understood, some people understand, and some people can see it, uh, how it's done. This is the first time ever you have managed to create a hydrogen gas, which is a total plasma itself. Is the, it because of its structure, the neutron stays in the center, because of its strength. The electron and the protons dissipate into the uh, boundary, and now you achieve a total neutron plasma condition. The speed of the rotation gives the strength difference in transfer, and you can, uh, you can fly. In the more advanced systems, if you understand it, you can create a secondary pole on each one. If you can do it, in, in the future man will achieve it. Then, in position of these two, you dictate the, uh, what you call, the positioning of the flight. <laughs>